The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. There was a scholar of the law who stood up to test Jesus and said, Teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, What is written in the law? How do you read it? And said in reply, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your being, with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. He replied to him, You have answered correctly. Do this, and you will live. But because he wished to justify himself, he said to Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, A man fell victim to robbers. As he went down from Jerusalem to Jericho, they stripped and beat him and went off leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down the road, but when he saw him, he passed by on the opposite side. Likewise, a Levite came to the place, and when he saw him, he passed by on the opposite side. But a Samaritan traveler who came upon him was moved with compassion at the sight. He approached the victim, poured oil and wine over his wounds and bandaged them. Then he lifted him up on his own animal, took him to an inn, and cared for him. The next day he took out two silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper with the instruction, Take care of him. If you spend more than what I have given you, I shall repay you on my way back. Which of these three, in your opinion, was neighbor to the robber's victim? He answered, The one who treated him with mercy. Jesus said to him, Go and do likewise. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Please be seated. It is very clear that the door to heaven is love. And people who do not love will not be able to go to heaven. But when love is presented to us as an opportunity, we have two questions as a reaction to love. The first type of question when there is an opportunity to love is, what will happen to me if I love? That was the question of the priest and the Levite. What will happen to me if I love? I will be late. I will be unclean. I will be impure. So they chose not to love. The second question when we are invited to love is, what will happen to him if I do not love? That was the question of the Samaritan. And he ended up helping the wounded man. Two questions. What will happen to me if I love? If we don't answer that correctly, that leads to condemnation. Second question. What will happen to him if I do not love? If you answer that question correctly, you will be led to salvation. Salvation. 